Alright boys, feels good to be back on camera. Sold my motor on the way up here to Arlington today. Um, I want to check out this white S3, which you guys will obviously see plenty of because I just freaking bought it. Um, I figured it'd be good YouTube content because as much as I like or love the Golf in general, the Mark 8, I just can't get it. Like I'm tr it was growing on me a little bit and then now the more pictures I see of people getting them in like uh, Canada and shit, like it's just ugly. I mean, it's going to be like in the infotainment, I don't like the way it's set up and the buttons for the HVAC and the buttons on the steering wheel. The way the Audi looks is just so much better in my opinion. Now it is a little bit heavier. There is that, but I think um, it looks a lot better to me. So I pulled the trigger on it. Hopefully I don't regret it. It's got the same exact motor as the Mark 8 Golf far with the revert valve near the throttle body and everything. So hopefully, yeah, I mean, Audis were always behind when it comes to tuning. Like the Golf will get it first and then somebody will eventually crack it for the Audi. So we'll see. It's probably going to be a while until it gets tuned, but I'm going to order springs tonight. And I um, already got some odds sitting at the house waiting on it. You, all, you already know that Brooklyn we were in is going to go on it. Um, I'm not too crazy about the power. Like, it's whatever. I just want to be able to drive again and go race again. And it needs to be a daily, so it's a new car. It's going to be able to fit the kid in it. And uh, I don't think I made a video on that. We're six months pregnant now. And we're doing in February. So there's that. But I'm going to get back in here. I'll be showing you guys plenty about this car. I just want to do, uh, film this little clip. All right, guys and girls, this is one of the three digital dash things you can do. It's really nice. Um, I don't know what that. Oh, it's okay. CarPlay, you got maps on there, all types of stuff. We got wireless Apple CarPlay, and my phone's charging down there. All types of things to show you guys. I like, really like that LED. The seats are super comfortable. It's dope. Alright boys, I know you can barely see me, but I'm on the highway cruising, found another Audi. I can't tell, see I'm bad with my Audis, I don't know if it's an A3, S3, A4, S4, I don't know, I don't think it's an S4, I don't think, it, and it can't be an S3 either, because it only has like a uh, dual exhaust, there's not two on each side, it's just one on each side, but um, let's see if we can see the lights back there, probably not, I got a little nice highway run with them like uh like 60 to 100 i got it by at least a car <laughs> i know that feels bad too oh wow i'm loving this thing already um wow that's just awesome <laughs> pretty stoked uh so far so great there's like three different views you can do let's see if this thing will even focus um and each one has like two different things so we got this one, which usually I have the nav up. It's hard to do this while I... Where's nav? This is normally what I have. And then you got this one. This is like the sport, you know, whatever. And then there's like two different ones. There's one where you can have like two small gauges and some other shit. But you got this screen. It's just awesome. It's all like flickery on camera. But the quality of this screen is just great. It's really, really good. But... If we get another space of highway here, I'll honk another three off with this car and, and we'll we'll get her done. Woo! Hard to stay in the road and vlog at the same time. Don't be like me. We just came across a Camaro here. We'll see how this goes. I can't like honk it off and we'll see if he guns it. Getting the Camaro with it, no smoke. I gave him a, a solid slow three beat, try and give him the hit on the first race. Didn't even go. And he did a ricer flyby, came up like he was okay. He came up in my lane this time, like he was like, okay, I get it. 
So we lined up, I downshifted, he downshifted, I downshifted, he downshifted again. I was like, okay, slow beep. One, two, three, and he didn't even go. So whatever, but we still got the, the Audi behind us. We'll try and get a run with him in again. Man, got me all nervous. <laughs> All right, boys, just started her up. I want to show you guys how the lights look and everything. I forgot to show you guys this. It's really neat. It's like really high quality. I didn't know even know it had that like until nighttime. I just put the other floor mats in. Um, that lights up, so that's cool. Like I showed you guys last night, like the interior light here. Um, yeah, it goes across. It goes to the doors and to the back, just like the golf floor did. Oh my God, that's loud. Wow, anyway, before we were interrupted by Silverstein. Um, let's get a good look here. Hope if I can get it to focus decently here in the night. There we go, yeah. Looks really good. What's really cool is this car has rear fog, so I'll get her to hop in and uh, do a sequence of different lighting, but this thing looks dope. Um, I don't know how the fronts. I'm gonna try and disable that orange light, but we'll see. I need to look and see how the European rears are too. But that it does have like sequential in the rear, but not in the front. But uh let's see if I can get it to focus. Not directly at the beam. You guys can kind of get the idea. Well there you go, there's a nice. It's really there we go. Yeah. And I'll show you guys like the fog lights, the way it works in the front is really neat. It shoots beams out the side, it uses like your cornering light to go over and stuff, but like I said, I'll have her hop in here in a minute and uh, show you guys. And we're gonna go for a ride with her. And then we'll start talking about the first mods that are coming for the car. Well, some I already have, some I'm about to order. I really need to get this transmission sold. I, uh, well, me and her, we just clean up the garage a bit because I haven't had a car in here in a while. Got the rear end moved over here. Somebody, this would be the ultimate thing. Like if you have a two door GTI, and have traction issues, I will sell you this rear end. Not the Verkline stuff, but like the Haldex and axles. All you need is a subframe and whatever knuckles and stuff that you wanna run. You can get a, an OE subframe for cheap from um, Auto Haas. And then obviously the transmission, that would be good for any manual car. Like this thing is the shit. I'm willing to make a deal. I would love even like a second car, like a, a beater car. I would trade for this. I mean, you guys let me know. It's valued, I guess I paid about 8,000, but I mean, anywhere near the 6,000-ish range or value, equal value, um, yeah. And for the rear end, I don't even know. Like, $700 for the Haldex and axles, like, take it. Let's go. Or less. Where's that from? Oh. Mm. Anyway, if you want any of that stuff, let me know. $300 buyers reward if you find somebody to buy that transmission. I'll PayPal you right away if you find somebody, so. I'm willing to drive up to like eight hours or so. Meet up with somebody, I'm in Virginia, so I mean, I'm down to go up to New Jersey, Pennsylvania, whatever, West Virginia, down south, what do we got? Carolinas, you know, whatever, so. Somebody needs it, I'll even ship it. I'll go grab a pallet, we'll strap it down, we'll FedEx freight it, let me know. All right, we're gonna go over, we're gonna go over the headlights real quick. Hit the, the four ways. So you got, okay, good. Headlight button. You press it, press it again. Okay, that's just running light again. That's off, hit it again. All right, hit the middle button. So that's the fog. See how it like comes out of the center there? And it like kind of shoots this way and down. It's neat, hit it again. All right, we'll go to the back. Brakes. Nice. Four ways. Hey, look at that. Okay, rear fog. Hit it again. See, that's the rear fog there. One more time. Neat. Okay. We are hopping in the whip. First time she's driven it, driving it. Let's see what she thinks. All right. All right, we're in 
there and do a pull here right quick bowl all right let it rip pretty quick it actually i mean y'all saw in that video i guess did i record i didn't get the videos of racing that audi huh i'm trying to get that camaro let's see but this thing uh it, it does move for I me mean, for being stock i think it's rated 315 they dine at like 340 or so so i mean it's not that not bad like i expected it to be less so this feels a lot better than what i thought and then like the we're about to set it up, but like the garage door is built into the screen. Like there's not like a button for it. It's like all on the screen, which is pretty interesting. We're we'll about to see how that, that works. But so far, so great. I really like it. Um, tomorrow I'll go get rid of my Jeep. And then uh, depending on if I have time or not, we'll make the first video of doing some mods. I have a handful of things sitting around, so. We'll see what we can get into. And I have off this weekend, which means I can get the car in the shop if I wanted to. We'll see. But we're gonna end the video here. Hope you guys like the car. I was looking at all these lips and stuff. I can't find any spoilers though, like trunk spoiler. I found a decent diffuser, I think Riger, Rear. Um, they make a nice all around kit. Um, Maxon has a nice lip too, I like. But we'll see. I wanna get the S3 emblems off the front and back and uh, oh, the red reflector on the rear bumper uh, get those black get rid of that orange light in the front and uh, really hope Let's see it the these are cool because they're just like touch over there there's like plenty of space like over the the buttons there for the headlights for a p3 gauge so yeah. i'm hoping that's where they put it instead of being in the vent they put it yeah, right there. That would be dope. Or even like right here would be cool too. They got a nice spot. We'll see. Anyways, I know it's not a blue car. I know it's not a hatchback, but it's going to fit a kid. It looks better than the Golf. Interior is definitely better than the Golf. And uh, so far, so great. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the flip flop. Here's uh, some bonus for you. So you can go in here and do steering wheel button assignment. And there's one button on the steering wheel that you can make it do whatever. I didn't know what the home button meant, so I just hit it over here. Hit the home button. Send to home. And now my garage door opens. And now it, it also asked me about the GPS. It told me to park in front of the door and save my location. So I think every time I pull my car up to the house, it'll just open the garage for me. We should go test it. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys.